You are all weirdos. Weird science is the revolution. Weird science is the revolution. Hello, everybody, and welcome back to the Weird Science Comics YouTube channel, where I have some breaking news. And it's breaking Captain America news. J. Michael Straczynski returns to Marvel in Captain America number one. The all-new era of Captain America launches in September. Now, I want to start this off by saying to everybody, this is not going to be a video that is going to pick sides between Sam and Steve. I like both of them. I can accept both of them. If you can't, that's fine. But this is more just about Steve Rogers, Captain America. And the problem is, is because people end up picking sides of either or, it ends up where the fight doesn't need to happen. But the fight ends up even, I think, spilling into the books. And it's not been great since I started doing our podcast and videos and stuff since Tennessee Coates. And now you have Lansing and Kelly. First off, they boring as shit. I have not had any fun at all reading Captain America. Now, if you have liked it, you may like things, you know, different than I do, but I kind of just want to have fun like all the gals do, right? Girls just want to have fun, so does Jimmy. But the other thing about it, and it feels like this has to end, the idea that if you're writing Steve Rogers' Captain America, you don't have to be embarrassed about writing Steve Rogers' Captain America. It almost feels like some of these writers end up feeling embarrassed that they're writing Steve. And then with that, it almost ends up where, because of these sides and all that, that you end up feeling guilty. Even if it's in the back of your head, you're feeling guilty to end up saying, oh, I love Steve Rogers' Captain America. Because, again, if I say I love Steve Rogers' Captain America, that does not equal out to I don't like Sam Wilson, Captain America. has nothing to do with it. I like them both. I want to have, though, a Steve Rogers Captain America that I can enjoy, as well as having a Sam Wilson Captain America book. And, you know, any character, you want to have fun books. You want to have books that are cool and books that it seems like the writer actually wants to write that character and have fun with it. But because of the optics and all the stuff going on, Steve ends up getting pushed aside in a way that even in his own book, it feels like he's an embarrassment a bit. And I, I don't like that. And as hopefully that is rectified here. And we end up having all the books. Great. That's what I want. All the characters. Just make everybody Captain America. Love them all. Acclaim writer and filmmaker J. Michael Straczynski will make his celebrated return to Marvel Comics this September in Captain America number one. Straczynski has written fan favorite stories, including Amazing Spider Man and Thor, and now he's ready to embark on a new adventure with Marvel's star spangled hero. Alongside superstar artist Jesus Saez, the talented duo is ready to take Steve Rogers on an exhilarating new adventure. Decades ago, Steve Rogers changed the world forever. Now, powerful and insidious forces are assembling to ensure he never does it again. Past, present, and future collide as the man out of time reckons with an existential threat determined to set the world on a darker path at any cost. All right, we'll see how that is. The, the idea, is he a man out of time anymore? It's one of those things. Eventually, we will get to this point, and it happened with my mom. My mom was born in England. Well, at one point, her and my dad, I remember them having an argument, and my mom out of nowhere was like, you don't understand. I'm English. And my dad started yelling, you have lived years longer in the United States than you ever spent in England. So shut your mouth. That's what he said. And then she probably threw something at him. That's how things usually worked out. But when is uh, when are we going to get to the point where uh, man out of time? Well, I think he's adjusted pretty well since then. And he's doing that. But I know that that's just the catchphrase. It always just cracks me up when things happen like that. By the way, now that my mom is older somehow she claims she's from south philly which she's barely ever been in so i don't get her but straczynski says overall the goal is to do something really challenging some really fun stories all right i'm listening and get inside steve's head to see who uh, he really is in ways that may not have been fully explored before all right, okay. If folks like what I did with Peter in Amazing Spider-Man right, and Thor, well, in Thor, then they should give this a shot because I'm really swinging for the bleachers in this one. And I, I would think that at some point he might have wanted to say, listen, you want Steve Rogers' cap? I'm going to do it. No nonsense. We'll just have fun with this. Then I would have been really on board. But you got to watch what you say these days, right? So, again, 
I'm looking forward to this. I'm, I look forward to every new number one. I hope that this is something that is something I like. And everybody has their own opinion. She may like it not, but I'm going to wait and see in September. I'm kind of excited about it because Captain America is one of those books that if you're reviewing Marvel Comics, if you have a Marvel Comics podcast, it feels odd to not talk about any sort of Captain America books because I just haven't liked them that much. So I want to get involved with this. I'll be there front and center issue one, reviewing it here on YouTube and on the podcast and things like that. And I hope that this is something where we start getting more and more, you know, new number ones and hopefully go back to a little basic approach with things. That's what I kind of want. That's actually what DC is doing right now in their Dawn of DC which I think is getting people excited and getting people back to just good storytelling, good character work. And there you go. You know, that's all you really need. And then, and, and great art too. And I like Jesus Saez. So there you go. It's a winning formula. It seems what we'll see in September, but let me know what you think in the comments below. And once again, thanks for watching the subscribe, like enable all of that stuff, but I will talk to you all later. You are all weirdos. Weird science is the revolution. Weird science is the revolution.